Alright guys, Grossy here back with another video and today, alright, I'm not really sure what happened in the last episode, but I just remember the team being bad and like we're just trying to rebuild, change the bench, the bench was just terrible, like we were getting killed in bench minutes, so yeah, I just remember we really have to rebuild, so this is just the um, playoff bracket so far, like what the teams that left. Um, Denver is the number one seed and Boston is the number one seed on the opposite end. So we're just going to sim the playoffs and see who actually wins everything. Uh, let's go. Yeah, just simulate the entire playoffs. And like, who would win? Let's see. Would it be Boston, Denver, or maybe another team? Philly. What? But Yoke? Oh, nah, that's glazing. That is crazy glazing what oh my gosh a one point now nah, that's cr a one point win in a game seven bro who does philly even have okay maxi they got scotty barnes is that scotty barnes bro looney okay what yo what is this team bro like what is this team how did they do this Kelly Uber, Buddy Heal off the bench. What? Paul Reed, Kyle Lowry, Robert Covington, Cameron Payne, Nick Batum, Mo Bamba. Yo, what? Okay, alright. Uh, just to be added to them, day one, but somehow Jokic got finals MVP. Um, very weird, but okay, it is what it is. Um, Scotty, man, that's crazy. How the hell did they get Scotty? But yeah, this looks like a crazy team that we might have to go against in the finals if we do make it there. So hopefully we're able to build at least somewhat of a contending roster this year. All right, so now we're in free agency. Um, got a few people to accept. I will accept Evan Fournier's option. I think he can be a good bench player for us. And a lot of expiring contracts that we most likely we will just get rid of. I don't like Dinwiddie's contract. I don't like Jackson Hayes' contract. I don't like Taurian, Prince, and Scott. Like, I'll probably just release all these guys and try to get some guys in free agency. I guess it was a good thing that I didn't move on and, like, um, upgrade the facility before because we are losing a lot of players. And that, that 500 goal will help us get some people. So we're... I'm gonna be either the tenth or the okay, so we're gonna be the tenth. Okay, so we have the tenth pick in the draft. Um, since we're gonna be losing Dinwiddie and Skylar Mays and I think Gabe Vincent, I'm not sure. Um, since we're losing a lot of guards, I think as I said we will be drafting Bronny. I think we'll draft Bronny with the tenth pick. Um, and then for our next pick, I think we'll try to get a backup center. Since we'll be getting rid of Jackson Hayes. And we need someone to come in once AD's out. So that is going to be our number one thing to look forward to um, in the draft. And then in free agency, if there's anybody good, I'll point it out. I'll let y'all know and I'll just try to draft that person. But I want to see here if Bronny does get drafted. I added Bronny to this class, so I'm not sure how good he is and it seems like okay so it seems like he does fall to us and we have the 40th pick in the second round okay so i'm not sure how good brownie actually will be like he start he's starting off lower than a lot of persons i don't know it's my first time like really adding a player to a class so hopefully he is good and he develops um hopefully he does actually just develop i don't know so yeah, we'll be drafting Bronny here. LeBron gets to play with his son, which does happen in real life because I'm adding the audio to this like so much later after. And this is the backup for um, Saren that we will be drafting. Um, he seems pretty good. So he should be just a better replacement to um, Jackson Hayes. So as I said, we're going to be offering these guys their contracts and we're going to let a lot of guys walk. And then with that 500 gold, Hopefully, we're able to pick up some people in free agency. All right, guys. So, someone that we did see here in free agency that we're going to offer a contract to is Precious Achua. 
Um, he doesn't have much interest, so it's going to cost him a little bit to get him um, to sign to the team. But we want him on a four-year deal with a team option. He's going to be our replacement for Christian Wood. So, so we got our replacement in our draft pick, our 40th pick. He's on um, Alasama, so I think that's his name. Um, so he's going to be our Jackson Hayes replacement, and Precious should be our Christian Wood replacement. So another thing that I want to show you guys, bro, like this OKC team is the greatest team I've probably seen so far, like in the game. Like they just got Siakam, they got Tyrese Maxey and James Harden, and they still have Shea and um, Chet, I think. Like this, there's no way this team doesn't go to the finals. This team is absolutely stacked. Like, look at this, bro. Like, if they don't win, like, 60 games or something, they, like, this game is crazy. Like, look at this team, bro. Like, look at that starting five. They got four, four and a half star plus players. And they got J-Dub off the bench. This is crazy, bro. It's insane. Insane team. Oh, and another thing. For some reason, like, the draft class still is the 2025 class. I don't know why that is. Like, I didn't select it. So I'm wondering is like should I just remove the class after I'm done importing it and used it? I, I'm not sure. Um maybe that's the solution, but yeah, I think we're gonna have double players in the next year going forward. Okay, so I sim through a few games through the season and so I've decided that I'm gonna upgrade the world class facility because we want XP progression, because we want Bronny and the other rookie um backup center to upgrade. And we also want to increase our gold amount so we will increase the arena maybe i should have done the um facility like health facility medical facility that's probably what i should have done to reduce injuries but i think in hindsight well that that might be better in hindsight but that's what the, what i'm planning on doing right now so i think lebron is injured so i'm just gonna sim forward a little bit and see what our record shakes out to be so i guess we have another disappointing season 25 and 57 that's so bad lebron is 39 so i'm not really sure how like if he's gonna play next season we're the worst record well the second worst record in the league so i mean we will have a top two three pick or whatever but yeah, it's just really bad okc was the best team in the league 64 and 18 that's so crazy but it's expected, and like I said, I think Braun was injured. Like, yeah, look at that. He just went out for the, basically the entire season. Nothing we can do. Um, I guess next season, I'll try to upgrade the, to the world-class facility or something to see if we can reduce injuries. I hope Braun is still playing next season, but he might retire at 40, and that's going to be something that we really have to um, look out for. Don't really have much expiring contracts except for D'Lo and Evan Fournier, which I might resign or just look for someone in free agency to replace either both of them or one of them. So we'll just get to that right now and get to the draft and see what our draft position was and see like which one of these top guys that we were able to select. I think the best person to draft would probably be Alex Sar. Since AD does go down with a few injuries, I think a backup center for Specifically for AD would be like the best possible option or maybe a guard or a forward if LeBron does retire, but we'll see we'll see when we get there Okay, so I'm trying to speed up this video a little bit here It's gonna be a shorter video because I said we're trying to build trying to speed up the rebuild here because the team has been so bad We just want to get everything under control LeBron was a scoring champion and possibly his last season just showing the stats and awards here and the team that did win the playoffs um so let's get into that let's see which team ends up winning i'm expecting okc to win there's no way they don't win and okay bron is back but doesn't matter indiana beat oh tyrese maxi okay that's back to back now they kind of glazed the opposing player and it ended in a game seven close game as well four point win for indiana wow that's actually pretty insane went to indiana and milwaukee in the conference final and okc in minnesota 
Okay, was not expecting Indiana to beat that God Squad, but yeah, let's see how it does shake out. So in the next video, we will have the draft and see if LeBron does retire. Hopefully he doesn't get him for one more year. And yeah, hope y'all enjoyed. Please like and subscribe for more content and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.